We have a 2014 Volkswagen Jetta. As you see, it's been a little bit of a fender bender. We just got it off an auction. Um, the car came with a missing key. So, doesn't we do not have original key. We bought a new key from a dealer. Of course, it doesn't work. There's a push button. As soon as you press the button to start it, it says no key in the, on the dashboard. And we're gonna show you how to program a new key without having an existing key. Okay, so we got our new key ready to go. We cannot turn on the ignition. Uh, we have a launch J box, which is made by Drew Technologies. It's pretty much the same thing as Drew Technologies J box. It's a <coughs> communication adapter. We have this uh, Otis software, the onboard diagnostic system, powered by Volkswagen. Gonna wait for it to load up and program the key. So our software sees the communication to the car. Now, before you start communicating with the car, there's a procedure, you gotta wake up the control modules. So we turn on the hazard lights. You pull the high beam stock towards you and uh, keep on holding it down. And you press the brake pedal. You wait around, around 20 to 30 seconds and it's gonna wake up all the control modules in the car like the ignition is turned on without the ignition actually being on. So you could communicate to the control modules in order for you to program the key. Now we're gonna try to communicate. What I do, I usually keep the brake pedal on a high beam stock press all the time just in case the control module modules go back to sleep. See, so pulled up a VIN number without you doing the procedure with the hazard light and uh, high beams and the brakes, it will not pull up a VIN number, it will not communicate with the car. So now we got the communication going. Aromatic will pull the VIN number out. You select the rest of the information on the car. There's a 1.8 with a turbo. Well, the software asks you for a password. Of course, I'm not gonna show you my password, but if you're using original software, you should have that password available to you. Now we're getting some communication going. It's gonna go through all the modules in the car, scan them, pull the error codes out. Now we're gonna go from there. It's gonna take a couple of minutes for it to actually scan all the modules. So we'll be right back. Okay, as you see, we got some communication. We got some modules that we actually connected to. Now we gotta scroll down to immobilizer, right click that. Guided functions, adapt keys, perform, well it's asking us to switch the ignition on, we can't obviously because the key is not programmed and we have a push button. We gotta put in the customer's name. this job number two that's 
it's asking you for the country, USA. And it's gonna communicate to Volkswagen servers and try to adapt the key. Oh, it's asking you for password again. But once again, I'm not gonna show you the password. A little error over there. We have number of keys zero, then put one. Okay. Okay. Says hold key number one next to the ignition or reader coil. That would be this thing over here on the steering column. So we're gonna put the key in there and press continue. As the key adaptation has been carried out successfully, press continue, and now let's try to turn on our ignition. Voila! Now we need to readapt the immobilizer. As you see, if you don't hold the key next to the reader coil, it's still gonna say there, there is no key. Once you put the next to the coil it shows the, the ignition turns on you could actually start the car now so yeah now we're gonna work on Make sure we get into this thing to run, as long as we know our ignition turns on. And now we could use the key to start it. I charge up the battery and look into the rest of the problems that this thing might have. Once again, as you see, this car has been in a wreck, so it might be a lot of different issues. And that's how you program the keys to new Volkswagens.